That's actually really funny. Hello, welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. If you are catching this part, you are catching the replay. Um, if it says live with the little red box up in the top, then you are catching us live. Make sure to let us know that you are here and you are watching. So say hi when you hop on. I can't pin these anymore. Uh, it's not working. So yeah, let us know you're here. Liberty is here with us today. Hi guys. I'm gonna share this. Rachel's gonna do some sharing too. Yes. Hi Cheryl, hi Darlene. Everything's moving slow today. Like my computer and me. Hi Jake, hi Kathy. We get this shared to our group. I have to tell you right before we started, Rachel was like, we gotta make sure we turn this music on so I can drown my crying baby. <laughs> Cause Reese was having like a little bit of moment right before we went on and I like, almost was like it's a good thing there's a little bit of a lag at the beginning because I was like trying to pull it together <laughs> yeah we had I had just run upstairs and she heard me so I think that was she's, that was she what gets did very it. like mom mom she's up here she's fine <laughs> give it to me you know I love this the 70s are alive yeah you're gonna see a yes. few things today that are like color schemed wise my mother always says she's like oh my god it's coming back around again <laughs> <laughs> remember, like, uh, I remember when we were growing up, there was a catalog called Delia's, right? Yeah, Delia's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had a lot of these, like, very 70-esque prints and patterns and things. And my mom would look at this ca this catalog and be like, they want you to pay how much for what? <laughs> you know, but it it's, it's always repeats itself. Styles are forever repeating themselves. Yeah, I think it's funny. Yes, just, I love Delia's too. See, just it's like funny. a week ago or two weeks ago when I was at the salon getting my nails done, yeah. we were talking about that. I forgot about how that... I'd get that catalog and circle all the things I'd never buy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way it was because it would be like way too much or I'd dream of buying it at Urban Outfitters or something <laughs> like that. Yes. Oh, what is this doing? We got something goofy going on here. I don't know what this big box is. Did you put a picture in there? No. I don't know what that's doing. Hmm. Interesting. Now we got to get it to go away. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Maybe it won't go away. Maybe it won't go away. <laughs> We've got some odd A and D box that's showing up. So, all right. Well, welcome tonight, you guys. We have some cute new goodies to show you, some styles that we already have in stock. Uh, we're just going to show you styled a little bit differently, or I guess they're in some new prints and colors. Um, so excited to go over those. We have a new style that's been revamped just that we're going to show you guys today. And oh, I'm glad you can see us fine. Um, oh, sorry. I was just reading Kathy's comment here. Oh, good. I'm glad you like your new pants, Kathy. Those weekday pants are awesome, aren't they? We're getting a lot of people talking about those weekday pants. In fact, yeah. I was thinking to myself, like, I should have paired them with something, but everybody knows how good they are, that they're kind of like, yeah. they're flying out. I need to take some pictures pants. in them, but I think I was telling, Emily was asking if I had any updated pictures, and I'm like, you know, I they, all my size sold out before I could take any pictures. Oh, that's too funny. So I am getting some more in stock um, that I've kind of like grabbed as I could along the way. So I know some of you have already told me that you'd like a pair, and I have either on the hunter I have them on the way but if not if there is a pair that you'd like let me know and I'll do my best to get it for you so yeah those are awesome they're good pants yeah so we'll give it just another second I think and then we can get started um you know we had for dinner tonight P.F. Chang's the lettuce wraps yes, you know what those are yes. Jake made those they're fabulous yes I noticed your dinner from yesterday the... sitting in the garage I know I got <laughs> halfway home and I was like you know what I left that takeout spaghetti in Rachel's garage I'm not going back for it but then it's been cold enough here that even with
the heater on in the garage. I'm like, you know, I think it's probably still salvageable. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Like, right? Who cares? It's yeah. meat. Like, big deal. Yeah, but those lettuce wraps, they are good. Yeah, my friend Leah had, makes a recipe with them, and they're so good. Did you do butter lettuce, or what kind we, of lettuce We did, did the, yeah, is it butter lettuce? Yeah, it's like, the, it's, it's, it's like a yes. leaf that's more like a cup. Living lettuce. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Yeah, it's so good. If you, they, We also use that to make our tacos. Oh, okay. Since we don't eat taco shells, you know, yes. I do keto. I know I've talked about that. I'll get messages like, I heard you mention keto. So, yeah, we eat keto when we're being good. We were really bad on vacation, so we're, like, trying to get back in it. But um, we make tacos in those, the, that living lettuce and the lettuce wraps. They're so, so good. good. So They're good. so good. I love that lettuce. So good. So, all right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um... You want me to go first? Sure. Okay. Well, first off, like somebody had already said, we've got a little bit of this retro look coming back. The 70s um, are among us. So some super cute new stuff. And like Liberty said, a few items are going to kind of look a little bit 70s-ish. Um, but we will go ahead and cover those. And what color was it that we realized? Yellow. I think when I wear yellow, it makes everything look so like kind of blue here. Because that's doing that same thing as it did that one other day. So once Liberty hops on, we'll see if it goes back to a normal color or not. So, um, all right, we have a new open front thumb hole cardigan here that I have on. Um, this is the one, if you remember, it has thumb holes. If I can get my thumbs down here in the holes, I didn't have them in before. So it has those thumb hole details. Um, this has a ribbing to the fabric. I'll get close so you can kind of see it. So it has a slight ribbing and then it also has this cute print. So it actually is a real rose color. I know it looks a little bit white probably for you. So it's a little bit on the rosy side and then it's got that yellow, um, kind of that tomato red and then your olive. And it's just a really cute, fun print that you can pair with any of these colors as well as it's divided by black. So it's got that and your staple black pieces are going to go with this well. Um, and then the open front thumb hole cardies have that cute little ruffle detail that hits right above the elbow. Now I do want to advise on this particular one. Oh, the other thing on this that I really love, it's got that um, finished edge here that has the lettucing. So it's got that cute detail where it just kind of ruffles a little bit along the bottom. That's called lettucing. So it's just got that nice detail. It is full cover so you're going to get full coverage on the back. There is no button or anything, zipper closure or anything like that. So it just sits open. Um, but the, on this particular run, it one, it runs a little bit snugger. So I'm noticing it a little snugger in my sleeve than the previous ones that we've had. So I am in a size small here, um, but I would most to be most comfortable, if I'm going to use my thumb holes, I'm going to go up to a size medium. Just in that color. Just in this one stripe print. So not the one you're going to see from Liberty and not in the past ones, but this one particular print. Um, it's running a tad bit smaller than previous ones that we had. And I think that's just a variation in the fabric and that it has a little less stretch and that kind of thing. So I still can wear this size, but if you notice this um, dolman sleeve style that we have, it's just pulled a little snugger here, which I would be more comfortable if I went up one size. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, definitely 70s. Um, I have this paired. I chose to pair this with the fitted mustard tea. Um, I think it's called mustard or maybe it's deep gold. I'm sorry. So this is the fitted tea in deep gold, um, which just really brings out that yellow stripe that's in here. But like I said, it has that olive, the black, and then that tomato red that you can pair it with different things or even the rose gold. So a really, really cute piece. Um, and then I just have it on with my basic denim knit jeggings, the new ones that have the back pockets and the reinforced waistband um, with the elastic. One thing I want to point out too for you guys is I have a lot of questions about which ones on the site have the elastic. They now say on them, woohoo, finally, it says knit jeggings and then you'll see in parentheses it says reinforced with elastic waistband I think is the wording on there but you'll see in the title of that jegging that it says that so that is an awesome thing for all of us who have been confused about which ones have the elastic and which ones don't make sure to check that out on the site and to be honest I haven't looked at them all to see if they say it but I know for sure the black and the denim do and I'll check out the other ones later and let you guys know if they all have it so Liberty is going to come on out and show you guys what she is in Okay, so I have on another one of the uh, thumbhole cardies tonight. Okay, they're 48, um, and this is a beautiful navy. And this one, let me get a little close to you. See how it's got some waffling to it? Um, but I absolutely love this one. My gosh, it's beautiful. Um, of course, I don't feel any of the arm issues in this larger size like this. Um, so it could be that I'm just in the three and sometimes I can flex between the two and the three. Um, but of course I also like to, um, 
you know, just cuff this up so it's out of the way too. And I think that even with it cuffed, it's nice and versatile. Um, but if you'd like to use the actual thumb hole in this, it's really fun to do that as well. So this is one of the new relaxed ruffles as well. This is the blue gray blush stripe. And as you can see, it's actually, um, each one of the stripes has their own kind of vertical detail in it, and it just makes for a really nice print. I love that it comes off as a neutral. Um, I have this on with all navy, so I have on the navy over top. Um, this top itself is just, it's very good, and I feel like it comes off as a neutral, but you could also dress it up or dress it down. Um, and then I have it on with the corduroy jegging, which let me just give you a little bit of a closer look at those. There's the navy je uh, corduroy jegging, and these have that great, um, you know, the detail just like a corduroy, but they're not too hefty. Um, and you see how those three, these three just kind of like beg to be together. Of course, they would also be very nice um, together um, with a classic black jeg. I'm sorry, with a classic just uh, jean. Jegging. So like one of the ones that Rachel just hit on, the Boulevard fan, like you said, the reinforced tops on those. But I really like this. Of course, so it's got cute. great length. I kind of get have to get far away enough from you to show you how good the length is. So if you do have a pair of jeggings where you're thinking to yourself, I kind of like to cover this back part, um, this is going to do it for you. Let me just flip this up so you have an idea of where this does hit on me. Um... I would say I like it a little bit longer normally because I like things to be longer and that's why pairing it with something like this Cardi, the thumbhole Cardi, really gives it, it all together and I'm not too worried about it being short in front and also in back. So is that ruffle long or short sleeve? Oh, it is sleeveless. Oh, let me show you my little brown here for you. Um, but yeah, it's sleeveless. So this is great because I'm actually going to show this um, later with a shirt underneath it. So you can see how if you want to be wearing it into spring. Um, oh, baby bump sighting. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. You're right. You're right. Actually, somebody stopped by the house and I was here yesterday and they were like, Oh my God, you popped. And you're like, yeah, it's happening. Staying up past my bedtime. Oh, Jillian, I'm happy you're here. That's great. Yes, Kayla, I love this. It's At so first, pretty. when you were uh, open, and all the colors were showing up because there's two other patterns you're going to see tonight and two solids, two other solids you're going to see tonight too. I first was kind of like, how do I like this? And I just love it. It's beautiful. I think it's just enough to be nice and detailed without being overwhelming. So if and you, you want to go out of your comfort zone when you usually are a solid person, I think this is a great opportunity to wear a print without getting like, oh, it's too crazy. I'm afraid of it, you know? So, I love that. But yeah, I just have this paired all, all with navy items and I'm really loving it. It's a good, it's a good three piece outfit or if you have, um, you know, you might have a cardigan already that would go well with this. It's just a good piece. And how much are the ruffle tanks? They're 36. 36 for the ruffle tanks and there's 48 for the thumb hole cardies. And Rachel's got another combo on for you. Yeah, so while we're on the open front thumb hole Cardi combos here, I wanted to show this one um, because some of you may already have this in your closet. So if you are looking for color matches and that kind of thing, um, this is one that we already uh, had released and that I know quite a few already have gotten. So this one is the mustard. I couldn't remember the color of that last one, so I figured I better double check this one. But this one is the mustard. This is the size small that I had said runs a little bit... Um, a little bit bigger, so more true to size than that last one that I had on. So, sorry, my bracelets get in the way. So this is the size small, and um, how I had said, like, it's just not quite as snug. So I, the other one, that striped one, go up a size, and these solids stay true to size. Um, so this is the mustard, and I have it paired with this fun new relaxed ruffle. So these are called relaxed ruffle tank. Um, and this particular one is the, um, Oh, I'm trying to cheat here and read, and I can't read that far away, apparently. So this is the uh, Mustard Animal. Um, so it's got that cool mustard and then animal print here with the ivory. So cute. If you're an animal print lover, this is one that you get a little bit of cuddle with color, but yet it's still not crazy and wild. Um, really cute paired with the yellow. I kind of put them together, and I was like, is this too much? Like, too much yellow? But it's beautiful together. It just really brings it together. So, so, so cute. Um... 
Yes, Miss Jillian. I get to see Jillian today or this weekend. You know, whenever I have my hair up like this, you know, I'm like getting close to a haircut appointment. But I will bring whatever you want. So just tell me if you want me to bring you something to see. But yes, isn't this darling? And these relaxed ruffle tanks. Let's talk about these for a minute. So the difference with these, and I'm going to do a little comparison when I step away in a second, um, is that I believe that they're the same length, but I'm going to double check it. So that way you guys are going to know if they're the same length as the rough long sleeve tee, ruffle, relaxed ruffles. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. So I'm going to double check that these are the same length if you're curious about the length and then size comparison. So I am in a size small here, which is my preferred size in in the long sleeve, it's going to be my preferred size here in the tank as or in the tank style as well. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna do a quick comparison so that way I can confirm that for you because I know a lot of people size down in the relaxed ruffle, but I'm feeling like this is really a great fit um, that I don't know that I would want to size down. I did bring a size smaller down for me to try so I can show you guys, um, but I will do that comparison so that way we know for sure if they're fitting the same in the body area. But aren't they cute? And they have that nice um, thick strap so it covers your bra line. You don't have to worry about that showing. And then you get full coverage there on the back, um, which is nice. I'll take this off so you guys can kind of get a 360 here, a full view of how cute these are. So I just left on my denim jeggings, but these are adorable. I love kind of where it hits. And I said that they were short, shorter or longer I don't know but I'm gonna compare because I feel like it hits more around my hips than where the other one hit um Liberty did you notice that at all did you feel like it was longer where the ruffle hit it feels like it's a little bit longer so if you previously had tried this and felt like it was maybe a little bit maternity or too short I don't think you're gonna have that problem in these because there is a little bit more length but I will double check that in just a second so yeah so cute so there is that one again $36 for the new ruffle tanks and these are gonna be great because you can layer them right now um, while the weather is still cold but then you don't have to once it warms up so so cute they're 36 Sally 36 for the relaxed ruffle tank okay and I'm gonna grab one of the others to compare and Lib's gonna come on out and show you something you ready Lib? Yes, I am. she'll be right out okay so Rachel's talking about layering things so I changed this up a little bit instead of having something be over top I wanted to put something underneath and I have this print and then another one where I'm just going to show you the differences of some pieces you might already have in your closet to add this kind of fun, you know, uh, I always call this like a wiggle shirt because there's wiggle room, um, but there's also, you know, I like the movement that it also has with it. So this is the dark sage and it's just lovely kind of like, I don't want to call it jewel tone, but it's more like this butter gray kind of sage, which I just absolutely love. Um, and I put this on with the moto jeggings and the reason that we are featuring this moto jegging is because Rachel is just actually able to restock some of these moto jeggings that she hasn't been able to have for a while. Um, so that's a benefit if you haven't tried a pair of the moto jeggings. Um, they fit, well they're a little bit tighter in the leg than the original jegging but they fit like the other, um, the new ones but just if you have um, bigger thighs they still fit. So I have this on in the three. This undershirt is on a three, and then I have this ruffle in the three, too. So I'll give you a little turn here, so you just have an idea of how the length is in the back. Um, Cause you know, that's a big thing for me is, I wanna make things, make sure that things are long enough in the front if you're uncomfortable with just, you know, the accoutrement, but I like to have them be a little bit longer and then also longer in the back. But I do love this style this way. Yes, Rhonda, I like this too. Hi, Mary. Um, I just think that even if you had something that was a A and DT that you do for layering purposes, that you could easily put these together and it's just really fun. And then the moto jegging also gives it just a little bit of that edge because it's got that great detail on the front here. Um, but I have another shirt I'm gonna put on under this. This time it's going to be a pattern. So of course we always like to do some of the patterns, but here is just a really easy, this is one of the original, um, let me just double check that I have this color the right way for you. This is the gray ivory long sleeve fitted tee with thumb hole. So it's the gray ivory. Oh, I lied, I actually have this on in the XXL. So the under one I have on the XXL and then the over in the, in the three. And remember, these are meant to be that kind of like 
fun flowing top. They're not meant to be, well, you've seen how they, they fit Rachel into the, in her true to size, you know? Um, they're always kind of meant to be, meant to be like this. So let's see here. That color looks good. Thank you, Kathy. I really do like this. So anybody that does, that has maybe strawberry blonde hair or blonde hair or really likes these types of color tones, um, which all act as neutrals to me, um, I think it's really fun. How do the Bodo jeggings run? Are they true to size? So they are, I have always said that they are true to size. They're just a little bit tighter in the legging where the, where the detailing is. So if you have like bigger thighs, you may want to go up one, but I still have plenty of room for my big old booty. So you see how they're just a little, I don't want to say that they're tight because that's not true. They're just a little bit tighter where the detailing is that's right on the front that gives them that kind of fun flair for that moto. So I hope that helps, Heather. And I'm going to try this on with a different pattern so you can see how that goes. What's the material on the ruffle tanks? This is the model, isn't it? Um, let me test the one you have on. It is a polyester rayon spandex. So it's a polyester. Okay. It's mostly polyester. But it feels very... Um, They're really soft. Yes. And you know, these were simple. I just steamed these so that there weren't any wrinkles in them. Of course, with a pattern, you can get away with not steal stealing, with uh, steaming them. But um, it just got all the wrinkles out very nicely. But I also think that because of where the gatherings are, if you did have some wrinkling naturally, that it wouldn't be a problem. So just an idea about that. All right, I'm going to change this. And Rachel's got a whole nother ditty on. Yeah, so a couple of things about what Lib said. The moto jegging, if you sized it down in the previous jegging, so in the knit jeggings, if you size down one, that's when you're going to want to go up a size. So I like mediums across the board, but I never have sized down in the knit jegging, if that makes sense. So that's why I like to stay in the medium. Um, so if you sized down before in those, then that's when you're going to want to stay true to size. Do not size down. I think that's the only difference. So that's where they're like true to size, don't go down a size. Um, okay, then the, I didn't say, the relaxed ruffle that I had on in that tank, that one is baby suede. So I think the prints are gonna be baby suede, or me. I don't know if that striped one is. Yes, it is. Yep, the striped one that Lib first had on. So the prints are all baby suede, and then the solids are gonna be that polyester rayon blend. Um, okay, so then I wanted to do this comparison for you guys. So the difference here is that these are essentially the same length. They're a little bit hard to compare because they kind of move on the hangers and that kind of thing. So they're the same length. So this is a long sleeve relaxed ruffle. These are both size smalls. They're the same length, but the ruffle is actually about two inches lower where it hits. So it hits more on your hip line than where it did before, but up a little bit higher, like um, more, I think around or even a little bit above your belly button is where they would hit before. So this is gonna be two inches below that on the tanks where that's gonna hit. So that's where you're gonna see a difference. If you didn't love the relaxed ruffles before, you may now because it hits a little bit more, I think more in a complimentary place um, where it doesn't accentuate um, that what maybe looks like it's a baby doll style. This one looks less baby doll in that. So hopefully that's that helps you guys but I knew something on it felt different but the overall length is the same okay so here I did put on an extra small so that way you guys can see um, the difference in that it's a little bit more fitted in the body um, I prefer the small because I like the intended fit of it but you can size down if you did in the previous relaxed ruffles you'll be fine to size down in this one as well um, because it does still have some room so I have on that same beautiful sage that Liberty had on um, and I have it paired here with a new kimono. So this is the everyday kimono that we've seen a few of lately. Um, the new ones that have that beautiful bell sleeve and this, look at this print, you guys, it's got this gorgeous ivory background. It's really like a pale, pale cream. So it's a really pretty cream. And then it's just got those gorgeous colors in there. Your different greens, that sage that kind of brings us together, some darker and that hunter green, and then just those beautiful kind of peach tones. So this is a beautiful kimono. These are $40. Um, um, and I think we have another new one or two you're going to see today as well um, in these. But this is just so nice. And this fabric is so nice. It has just a really light texture to it, but it's beautiful. I mean, I envision this like even as a bridal gift, this would oh, be yeah. something beautiful to wear on the day of um, a bridal, the day of your bride, which would be your wedding day. <laughs> I can't come up with words today. Um, but like on your wedding day when you're getting married, this could be a beautiful gift for somebody. Or, I mean, they're just gorgeous anyways. Like great for a beach cover up and beautiful to wear as an outfit. Here again, I haven't changed my shoes or pants because I was busy doing other things. But um, 
it's just really cute with even just jeans like this and I have it on with a booty for now but then when summer comes it's gonna be a great piece that you can um, wear with the sandal or a flat and it's just gonna be adorable again these are really cute with I have it on here with a tank they're cute with a short sleeve or even with a long sleeve to get you through the winter months so these are beautiful new kimonos I am in the extra small small so these are size extra small small medium large and then XL plus um, so they're gonna be true to size for what size you are in those categories so if you're a medium then stick it with the medium large and if you are an extra large XXL you're gonna go to that to that to the XL plus size so I hope that makes sense but yeah they're a little bit oversized kimonos are meant to be they're not meant to be a fitted style but they're beautiful so gorgeous and I just love the new style with that sleeve so no, the sleeve is nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, Lib's going to come on out then. She's going to show you this beautiful sage and another. I know. We keep, this is the third time we're featuring the sage, but. <laughs> it's I, gorgeous. But it is beautiful, but you it know, that was so part soft. of it is that, you know, these ruffle tanks can have a cardigan over top of them. They can have the kimono over top of them. I had had that long sleeve shirt on just now, but here's it is with a quarter sleeve. And you can also see how very easily, if you didn't want to show off your, um, shoulders or you don't like to show the tops of your arms which many of us are conscious about that this is a very nice pairing where a three-quarter length transitions this through winter into spring into summer and that you can very easily put another top underneath here for a desired uh, style or a desired sleeve length and I still think that it looks just absolutely beautiful you know I'll tell you I'm not much of a person I don't like to show my I don't like my underarms so much, which means I don't really like to shave them either. But I'm just saying that like, you can also wear a three quarter, you know, a three quarter length on there or a nice sleeve. But here, I still have those moto jeggings on, um, but you could do this with one of the, one of the jeggings or, um, but I still love the length on it, but I just like that you can kind of do some styling and some fun things with wearing a top underneath it, as opposed to when we're just always talking about layering things with wearing something on top of. So I just think it's a fun way to, to style it. And now you've seen it three ways. Um, and Rachel's going to have two more, um, of those ruffle fits. Well, I guess I have one too. So there's some more ruffles <laughs> coming your way. Let me get into the next one. Yeah, we're just showing you guys these styled a few different ways. And I'm being real lame. I haven't changed my pants yet. So, <laughs> um, okay, so here is another beautiful new one. Um, this one, of course, I didn't look at the name when I put it on. We never do, do we? We always are like digging out our tags, looking for what the names are. Okay, so this one, it has a black background. It is called the Black Mauve. So I guess that's pretty simple. And if I get close here, I think you guys can kind of see the details that are on this. It kind of looks like um, there are these little stripe details with the dots and these fun little shapes. Um, these, This is a white and then it has the beautiful mauve with it. So it's a black background with the white and mauve detail on there so you guys can see. And I paired it here with this new brown is what it's called, new brown favorite cardigan, which kind of makes this mauve look a little bit more brown, but you could also pair it with a mauve pair it with like a peach it's more of a peach I'd say than like that new mauve cardigan that we had but you can kind of pair it with some different things and bring that color out in a little bit of a different way but yeah it's really pretty I think that this is one that you can really dress up a lot depending what you pair it with like pair this with a pair of black pants and a blazer it's going to be adorable for work um here again like I said I just have it with simply with a favorite cardigan which is fabulous I mean these favorite cardigans are a go-to um and I just absolutely love it so um it is it's not new today Cindy this color was new I think in like December so it's new ish but it's called new brown is the name of it um but so yeah it's not new today but it was you know new a couple within the last couple months um but yeah it's a great color because it it's just we don't have enough that's in brown so it's a really really great shade I love this one um, Rhonda, would you, I size down in the tunic? No, I like true to size in it. Um, but if you size down in previous relaxed ruffles, you certainly can. I'll take this cardigan off in a second and show you. It is a tank top. So I'm going to show that to you in just a moment as well. Um, you claim after Mary right now, what we're doing is a live sizing and styling guide. So we just show you all of the new pieces. We give you some suggestions of how you can style them with pieces you maybe already have in your closet or other um, pieces. And then as soon as the live ends, then I load all of the new inventory, um, to my site so you can shop. So anything that we're showing that's already in stock, you can go ahead and shop, but then all the new stuff gets loaded immediately after. 
So, okay. So that kind of covers this. I just think it's so cute together. I, I love do. that. And I, like I said, this is one you can really dress up. Um, let me take this off and then I'll show you, just give you guys who maybe haven't seen this relaxed ruffle on by itself, um, how it looks. Okay, so this is a size small. It's my true size. So my true size small, I really appreciate the fit of this um, being in my true size. I feel like it hits me nice under the arms. I love the neckline on these. If you can see, it's got kind of that thick neckline detail. So it's really a nice um, finish to this. And it gives you just that great shape that I think is going to hold really well and stay nice. Um, and then it it's just really a great length. I like the length in my true size. So I would stay true to size in this, but you certainly can size down if you want. Rhonda, this comes in extra, extra small, so that's the size that you would want anyhow. Um, yes, Jenny, it would go. Yes, that would be super cute together. The striped tee with uh, gray jeggings, really cute, with the gray motos, super cute. So yeah. Um, yes, Jenny, you do extra small. I think that's what size you did in the relaxed ruffle. You're going to stay in the same size relaxed ruffle that you previously did. So these are $36. Um, I'm 5'7". So I'm 5'7". Uh, I do have a little bit of a heel on. Um, but yeah, I'm about 5'7". And I'm a size 6'8". I tend to be a small on top, medium on bottom. So I'm going to get changed. Lib is going to show you another. And then we'll be right... I'll be back. Okay. Can we please take a moment for this combo? It's I am like ready for spring. This is, okay, so this is the relaxed ruffle in a color called Bellini, which remind me in the comments if you remember what's in a Bellini. Because I'm not remembering right now. What's but anyway. The items? Yes. The Limitless tunic came in Bellini. No, no, what is in the cocktail of Bellini? Oh. <laughs> She's worried about colors. I'm like, what's in the cocktail? The pregnant lady's worried about what's in the cocktail. <laughs> yes, a Bellini. It's like up on the with the mimosas and Bellinis. I think it's. I've forgotten now. One of you know what's in a Bellini and just tell me. But so this color is called Bellini, and then this is one of the. Um, You've already seen one of them, but you'll see three new patterns in this kimono tonight. And this is called Coral Boho, which I mean is just named perfectly. I just think this is so buttery and so yummy. This is like Easter. This is spring. This is just screaming at you. I absolutely love these two pieces together. Thank you, Susan. Peach juice and champagne. Instead of orange juice and champagne, it's peach juice and champagne or Cindy S. Peach Ooh. juice and Prosecco. Oh, wait good. a minute. Now we have a different comment. Bellini is Prosecco and apricot. And someone looked this up because it says white peaches, two ounces fresh peach puree and Prosecco. So Prosecco or apricot. I mean, maybe that's what... I, but you know it's one of those breakfast ones but i know that i have been offered it when i've been somewhere before and it was sweet and bubbly and delicious but yes kathy i i love this together this is just beautiful and i still have on that gray moto jegging i know rachel kind of was like i didn't change my pants well i'm now <laughs> sticking in these too just because i think it's so nice with these colors for something to be just that soft touch um, the gray is nice, so it's not so stark against a black. Um, or maybe if you just didn't want to be wearing a jegging all the time. Um, but I just love, let me get close so you can kind of see, um, see the colors in this print. In fact, my lips almost match this, but you really have three different colors. You've got this beautiful, very creamy background, which does have a pink hue to it. And then uh, the darker and then this nice coral. So this is a coral boho and with the Bellini underneath. And I just love it. So I'll give you a turn here. Can you see? I'm thinking I'm far enough away so you can see. Um, but I just think this is so pretty together. And I will tell you, I'm not necessarily the type of person that usually goes for these kind of peachy coral colors. And this feels very comfortable and I feel very put together and I would be not, I would be hard pressed to say that I wouldn't wear this because I'm actually already thinking about it for Easter. This would be beautiful for Easter or Mother's Days that in May. Beautiful. You know, we like to get dressed up for that type of stuff. But I just love this pairing together. And What's the name of that print called? This is called Coral Boho. Coral Boho. Yes, Coral Super Boho. Cute. And then the Bellini, which we won't forget because we've already talked about what's in a Bellini. That sounds <laughs> so good, actually. Uh, thank you, Jenny. I, I love this color combo.
Yeah, I really, really am kind of like you. looking at myself on the, the camera here. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with this combo. It's really nice. Oh my gosh. All right. So yes, the uh, coral boho kimono with the awesome sleeves. Oh, just wanted to give you an idea. I have on the what they call the extra large plus. So that's going to be anybody who's extra large two, three. Um, this is not intended to close. Although if you are an extra large and you put this on, it's going to have that flowiness. That's the, that's the purpose of the kimono. It's not meant to be uh, tight and fitting. Uh, but I still feel that this falls very nicely. There's a lot of room in the arm still, in the bust, and then also in the chest. Bust is your chest. All right, I'm going to change into the next thing. Okay. So I have on for you, um, Jenny, that relaxed ruffle you were asking about. I'm going to show it to you with gray so that way you can see it. I absolutely love it with the gray. Um, but I have it paired here, which is going to be the same gray that was the color of the jegging that Liberty had on. Um, these are the wide leg knit pant in gray. I love the wide leg knit pant because they are so comfortable. They have an elastic waistband, a thicker elastic waistband. They have pockets um, and they're just fabulous. So I'm about 5'7 and these just are to the top of my foot. So they're a great length for me being 5'7. If you're a little bit shorter, you're going to still love them as well. You can wear them a little bit higher in your waist. I have to wear them a little bit lower so that I get that full length out of them. Um, I had run upstairs to try to find sandals because I'm like, this is like a sandal outfit. Um, I I don't have any out apparently I put them all away when we got home from Florida I think because I knew that like I wasn't going to be seeing the sun for a long time <laughs> so um anyways so these are the gray wide like knit pant I adore these you guys they are awesome and I loved it with this combination so this is a new favorite cardi in it's called new blush here we are with that new new blush and yes doesn't it Kathy when I pair that with this you really see that pink more than like Liberty had it with the navy and it didn't show the pink as much. So this really pulls out the pink that is in that relaxed ruffle. So this is the same relaxed ruffle that Lib had on with the navy. Um, and I think that one really made it look more blue. And this really pulls out that same pink that's in it. It's a beautiful combination. I just adore it. I think it is so sweet. Um, it's an awesome, awesome outfit and so comfortable. I mean, all of these pieces are just awesome. The cardigans are Modell. So it's that super soft, you're going to wash and wear really, really well. And then again, same with your baby suede and that relaxed ruffle. So soft in the knit, knit pants. I mean, you couldn't get a comfier outfit and look so put together with this combination. It's adorable. So again, I'll just get close so you can see that. Um, so this has like the gray stripe in it. It's got to the dark, the navy kind of a little bit on the royal side just depending what you pair it with and then the blush tones with that really pretty cream background gorgeous gorgeous $36 for the relaxed ruffle and then the new um, favorite cardi in the blush these are 56 so same fit as the um, favorite cardigans that we've always known and loved so they're it's nice they're consistent and stay consistent Lib have you tried on one of the new favorite cardies I might need to grab you one so we can check the sleeves Oh, okay. I would like to. So I'll run up and get you one of those. Liv's going to show you something else. And then I know for our plus sizes, um, the sleeves have always kind of been an issue on some of the new cardigans that they've been a little long or a little bit too wide. And so cuffing them is necessary or having them hemmed, hemmed, I guess, or shortened. Um, but I want to show you guys or have Lib try one on so that way we can confirm. But yeah, these pants are awesome. You need them. They come in, I think, four colors. Um, and if I don't have your size, let me know because I can still order them. Look so. how effortless that is. That's like another thing. Uh, yeah, again, outfit. effortless, easy. I am in a size medium in the pant, so I'm in a size medium. Um, I tend to like mediums across the board in pants, um, so I'm in a size medium, which I wouldn't want to go smaller, primarily, I think, for length, and I really like the fit of these just across my body is really good in the medium, yeah. and then I am in a size small in both tops. So I'm in my true to size in the tops and I guess true to size bottom because I tend to be a medium on the bottom. So I'm in true to size across the board um, being in the smalls and then medium on the bottom. Um, I know two inches longer, Sherry. That is one thing for some of you tall girls. And I mean, even being five, seven, five, yeah. eight, they can tend to be a little bit on the shorter side. So um, let me double check, Rhonda. I think that the pants are 44, but let me double check. Um, sure, how tall yes, are they're you 44. for heaven's sakes? You're six feet tall, <laughs> you lucky duck. Pants are 44. 
So they're awesome. Those are on my site right now. Those aren't a new item. So they're on my site. And like I said, if I don't have your size in stock, let me know because I can still order them. Lib's going to show you guys something else. And I'm going to grab her a cardigan to try on so that we she can throw that on before yeah. this live so is over. So I want to show you something. I wasn't here for the live that Rachel tried these on. And so I just wanted to go over them in my size. This is the half sleeve sweatshirt. And I have to tell you, when I first saw this, I was thinking to myself, this is actually a little bit more dressier than I was thinking it was going to be. You know, it's, it's, it is a t-shirt, I'm sorry, it's a sweatshirt fabric, but it's one of those sweatshirts that's like the terry on the back as opposed to like fuzzy on the back. And um, I, I find that I wanted to kind of dress this up. So I actually paired this with the Spark Pant, which is a pant that Rachel has had, but they're just a really great versatile, and they're meant to be that crop length. Do you see how my little ankle is, uh, sticking out there and I just have it on with a pair of my classic black loafers that I absolutely love um, but a lot of great sleeve length um, no, no, no issues with the bust this is the 3x and so this is where um, you know I do have a baby here so I will say that you know it's still okay for over your butt and then into your tummy I'm finding it's a little bit tighter in my tummy but that's also because I got a little I got a little something going on there um, so I just want to tell you the colors that this comes in. The one I have it on is this beautiful mauve. And then it also <clears throat> came in three other colors. Although this is not it because I must have just pulled that off the, pulled that on the shelf. So Rachel has shown you these in these colors. I just kind of wanted you to see them on my coloring so you knew what they looked like. So this is the olive half sleeve sweatshirt with the great detail right here. Uh, that sleeve that's gonna transition nice into springtime, but also fun for summer uh, on a night where maybe you don't want a full on sweatshirt. Uh, and then this is just the classic gray. And then I also have this on in the uh, half sleeve mauve, which is just, it's nice, I like it. I really am liking it. Also, I wanted to mention, I know a lot of people have been in love with those weekday pants. Um, the spark pants is actually made with the same fabric as the weekday pants. So if you liked the feel of those pants and kind of the weight, but you wanted something with a little bit of a different leg cut, um, this, I have a little surprise in my pocket. These are my pants. I don't know what that is. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's like a sticker. Oh, thanks, Jessica. Yes, I am expecting in June. So it's going to be here before we know it. In fact, somebody was saying the other day, I can't believe you're showing more. You're not showing as much as you are. And I was, I was kind of sick at the beginning. So I was like, I lost some weight. And then I've just been gaining it back nicely. But in any case, um, if you love those everyday pants uh, and the, the fabric, the spark pant is another pant that is available that is in that same fabric but then it's just a little bit of a different um, cut and they also have a bow that I just kind of like tucked in but if you wanted to you could actually tuck a shirt into and have the bow be out on the outside like as a fashion statement or just kind of tuck it in and not have it there so in any case are you ready Rachel do you have another one and I've got one other one that you have seen on Rachel as well but I'm gonna try it on so you have an idea of how it is on the larger sizes as well Okay. Yeah, let's try it on a few extras today. Oh, I don't have shoes on. I guess I don't need shoes. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs. The girls at work always laugh at me, but I love this song. Okay. All right, so I have a new kimono on. I'm going to show you. And again, I am in yellow, so it's going to look a little bit goofy, the color. For some reason, it does this to me in yellow. I don't know why. Um, so this one is gorgeous again, you guys. This is a great run of new kimonos. I love these, and it's perfect timing. If you're packing your bags for spring break, um, you know, when you want to throw that lightweight layer in to have along with you, this is going to be perfect. Um, so these are really light. I don't think we've talked about what the fabric content of these is today these are 100 percent polyester it's a really lightweight um it's easy to wear they're so soft they're gonna pack really well and if you're packing them in a suitcase they're so lightweight that you're not even gonna know they're there so if you're worried about that weight limit it's perfect so this beautiful one um it is uh, this gorgeous mustard background and then it's got some different shades of like your mauves it's got some dark plums um some different shades of plums it's got a light blue kind of a blue gray in it so this is going to be able to go a few 
few different ways. Um, I think back here is kind of where you get the best picture of it. It also has like a, these pretty lilacs in it, some lighter pinks. There's so many colors that this is going to pair really nicely with um, of items that you already have. It is just beautiful, you guys. I love these. So again, I'm in the extra small small. They're $40 and I have this paired with that new Bellini um, relaxed ruffle. So the Bellini relaxed ruffle and um, I love it. I just love this combination and I'm in a size small again in that relaxed ruffle. So my true to size, one that I liked. Um, I have it paired with the light blue knit jegging just for an easy look um, and just to kind of bring out the blues that are in this uh, kimono itself. These knit jeggings, they're the light blue ones. I know there's a lot of question always about, um, you know, the shade differences. So these are the light blue that I have on and these are on sale. So I think that these are originally 48 and they're on sale for like 40 and some change or something like that. Um, Chloe, it's kind of in between. It's not like a really, really bright in your face, but it's not a muted mustard. I hope that makes a little bit of sense um, because I know it's hard to get a true image of it. I think the stock photo of this is really accurate. So you might be able to like form your own opinion when you see that stock photo. Um, I'm going to look it up real quick and see if I can tell if it is true or not. Because I know the lights always kind of do a little bit something funny when I have yellow on. But, I mean, it's bright, but it's really kind of in between that super bright yellow and um, a mustard. Because mustards tend to be a little bit darker. Yeah, I think that the stock photo of this is pretty accurate. So when I get that loaded, hopefully you'll be able to kind of tell better um, what you think. Because I think it's going to come a little bit down to like your own personal opinion if you think that it's really bright. Um, it is more, I think it's more goldenrod. That would be a great word, um, Tara, for it. Yes, more goldenrod. Don't you think, Liv? Yeah. yeah, that's a great word for it. So if you're familiar with what goldenrod is, this is, goldenrod is, this is definitely going to be more along the lines. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lib's gonna come on out again in one of these items that she wasn't here for when right. I did the live. So we like to cover these so you can see her in them because I know there were some questions. Okay, I'm obsessed with this. This is a one piece wonder that you like look just like put together. And I love the collar and the detail. I can't even tell you what the name of this one is. This is the day to night tunic. And this one is Olive Lennox Crepe. And it's a beautiful, um, you know, I'll tell you, this fabric is the same as those spark pants. And it falls very similar to the everyday pant too. The weekday pant, the weekday pant. Which we had talked a lot about how that weekday pant was truly meant to be like a pant that was very work ready. And I would say this is about as work ready as you can get as well. This great detail with the... Um, with the little pull your sleeve up, or you could put your sleeve down too, of course. But I would, I like this detail. And then they're up out of your way and you can use your hands for whatever it is that you're doing to work with. So um, I absolutely love this. I have this with one of those, I don't know if you guys have seen this. They're, tra you know, it was all these tassel earrings. Now it's these uh, like leather type of uh, embossed earrings that you're seeing everywhere. And I got myself a pair and it goes so nice with the neutrals with this. And I have this on with one of my favorite jeggings which I can't even remember the name of it. I gotta look here. Rachel's got some right here. Oh, the denim rinse floral. Yes, the denim rinse floral jegging. Um, just to have a little bit of a pattern with it, you know, because these are so classic and so nice. I probably wouldn't choose to wear the jegging to work, uh, but this is a, if you can wear jeggings or on a Friday or a casual, you know, this is kind of a fun way to make this tunic that can be very dressed up because you could very easily do this with a beautiful like bib necklace with a black tight or a black legging and a black high heel or a boot that would really dress it up. But when you do it with a jegging like this, it kind of just like brings it back down to like weekend wear or date night or maybe girls night. This would be a fun outfit for that. I noticed you changed your earrings. Yes, I did. I did. But you know this, we talk about styling and things like that. So we stay on top of not only the things that A&D is sending us, but some of the other trends that are happening so that we know what's happening with colors. And we do know that people are purchasing a piece here and there with A&D and that they have other pieces that are already existing in their wardrobe. And let's find ways to pair things that you have that are existing, whether they're A&D or not, with one of the beautiful things that are coming in. And sometimes that means sparking an idea because you have a new necklace or a new pair of earrings or something along those lines. But I just love this. Um, good length uh, back here. 
I will say there's a lot of, you know, nice room in the bust. And of course, if this was not sticking out a little bit, <laughs> it would just fit, it would fit perfectly. You see how that's just pulling just a little bit on me because my belly's out a bit. So anyway, that gives you an idea. This is the 3X in this. I love it. Um, and they came in a lot of those beautiful jewel tone colors. So there was this and then the barn red. The barn red. Two. Oh, I'm sorry. But both still covered under that jewel tone, those jewel tone covers, colors. Are you? I'm you're... done. So I'm just going to talk or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, talk or something, she says. But um, so just to recap, a lot of those beautiful um, ruffle, ruffle, relaxed ruffles today that are but just so great. More. What? No, yeah, no. You need to put on those two cardigans. Okay, I'll stop talking because I have something <laughs> else to try on. Yeah, so I will talk and entertain you. Oh, I did want to just touch base on this Bellini by itself. And I was looking at, and I was like, this is just an adorable outfit all, all alone. So yeah. I just have it on with a cute flat and just my, you know, those light denim jeggings and this Bellini relaxed ruffle. And this is darling. So, um, you know, don't feel like you have to layer them with something, but they're going to be a great piece to layer until we can go um, without layers, which feels like it's never gonna happen i am so ready for winter to be over <laughs> and you got away i know year. and i got away but now like we're on that itch to like get back to the warm <laughs> we love it It'll be so yeah it will be here but yeah accessorizing liberty is fabulous at accessorizing me not so much i don't accessorize as much but i think i just wait till liberty has that baby we'll see how much she accessorizes zero because that's when i like noticed that my accessory level went like way down because i'm like i don't want kids pulling on my jewelry or my earrings that were the same like little stud earrings every day because they pull on them and all that stuff so oh <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show you what I was doing over here that made me chuckle. Oh, I was kind of, have you ever seen those wacky, whaley, inflatable man, you know, that like on the side of a road, like car sale? Well, the, the sleeve length is generous on this larger size, but it doesn't mean that you can't go ahead and cuff this. I mean, I like things out of my... Uh, my way anyway, but if that is something that does bother you, um, just, you know, we were talking about how I had hoped that like the essential cardigans had been revamped. So the essential yes. cardigans, um, had been revamped so that the sleeve wasn't so generous, um, and that it was a little bit more length appropriate, um, I mean, for the size. So everything else oh. is lovely. You know, this, this buttons well, you could layer this with something. Um, if you have longer arms, this would be a go-to for you. I mean, but heck, I even like it just up like this. See how I have that pulled up like a three-quarter or this one is folded over three-quarter. Will you be getting the new smock tunic? Kathy, the smock tunic hasn't even been released yet. I know everybody starts what? seeing these things. They haven't even been released for reps to order. So um, do I hope to get it? Yes. <laughs> but um, I don't know for sure at this point that I'll be able to. So that's why I know you all see these pictures before our items are even released for reps to purchase. Jessica, I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm having. We'll have to do a little, little yeah. reveal. That would be kind of fun. I we'll have to do know. a little re reveal. You <laughs> try to twist Rachel's arm, she might tell you. Um, bribery works. Bribery works. Yes, Kathy. So these this <laughs> this cardi I think was um, yeah. So Liberty normally does the XXL in cardigans. I quit wearing wearing earrings, but had peanut butter in my hair when I had kids. Oh, she all gave, of these things gave to look up forward earrings to. Gave up earrings, took on peanut butter. Um, but I mean, this is still a great cardigan. And once again, if you recognize, this was one of the. Was this that was about last year? Yeah. This time. Fall. Like, oh, it was fall. Fall or last fall? I don't even know. I it runs together. That. But this one has the sleeve. Just to. This came out this fall because we put it with a dot jegging. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I wasn't sure. I didn't know. Oh, yes. Well, we'll do a little something. And if somebody knows, don't spill the beans. Yeah, because no telling. Some, some of you probably do know. But, yeah, we'll do a little something and tell you guys what we're Yeah, what, so this is having. cardigan that Lib is in um, is the favorite cardigan in the mob. So this is a new shade that came out last week. But just a heads up that the sleeves are still long, so you'd want to do the XXL like normal. Yes, yeah, because I'm giving you the three. I, would. I have the three. I probably revamped. would wear in the yeah. two. But um, ring on a string, lay on floor, have husband hold your belly. <laughs> 
around the belly, round around. Really try it. Okay, we're you know I have heard some of those wives' tales where people have done those things with like little pendulums, which is really the same thing as what you would be making with your ring. So that would be that would be fun. Actually, somebody the other day it was funny. I had something pink on, and they were like, "Oh." Is that a you're sign? wearing a pink? <laughs> that means it's a girl. And I was like, what? You guys are all reading into all of this. It was kind of funny. It made me laugh. Yeah, we'll have to do, you know what we'll do tonight? I have an idea for what we'll do. All right. Okay. Okay. So we'll do something, but stay tuned for that in my group. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not in my group, make sure to um, join. There is a link for it pinned here and in the top comments. So make sure to join my group for a little fun. And oh, we'll, yeah. Well, Liberty's ready to reveal the baby. Um... Yeah, so I think that kind of covers yeah. it. You guys, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. If you are new here, how this works is I'm going to log on off of here. We'll say goodbye. I'll load inventory to the site, um, new inventory. So if you're already shopping the site right now, that's cool. You can go ahead and load your card up. Um, and then I will load the new inventory. I will comment here. And also in my group, new, new inventory is loaded. And you guys can go ahead and um, continue shopping. One thing I do want to say, because I know I mentioned it last week, if you do drop your cart or you decide that you're going to leave your cart, please take those items out of your cart when you're finished shopping because they hang out in there and other people can't shop them. And also, I hate to even say anything, but if you're going to claim it, items like as though you're going to purchase them, please make sure to pay your invoices or let me know if for some reason you have to cancel if something's come up um, because I hate to cancel invoices. I hate to do that to people, but um, I'm I'm getting more and more that are lingering and going unpaid so please only claim items if you know that you're gonna purchase them as well as when they are claimed to you I start hunting them down again for other people sure. so it's a real time-consuming process that then when I'm canceling an invoice and I'm like darn it I had to go track that down and for somebody else this so please it. just yeah. be respectful of that I mean that's just one of the things like be respectful of the other people who are shopping and as well as the time that goes into um, this whole process so uh Kathy I'm in the Bellini and I think that's all. So thank yeah. you guys for listening to my little tidbits about business. <laughs> and um, thanks, Liv, for being here. Yes, happy always. to be here. It's always We'll nice keep her as long as we can until <laughs> she's going to pop that baby yeah, out. That's true. So, all right, you guys. Well, have a great night. Happy shopping. Let me know if you need anything. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.